doing something new. We're going live on Twitch and Instagram again. Hello, Instagram. Missed y'all. So, we're going to see how this goes. I'm like, you know, why not? Why not? Hi, Instagram. It's been a minute. How you guys been? Um, I'm on Twitch, but I'm also going to go live here today just for the heck of it. How are we going? What's up, my friends? Robin's in here. We got Boyka's chilling in here. A1, what's good? Hello. Glad to see you all. Well, good. Welcome, my friends. We're going live on both. We're going to do it. We're doing it all. If you know me, it's normal. <laughs> You're like, yeah, Carly. She's doing it all. She's in four streams. <laughs> Chatting in three. Clipping in two. <laughs> Teammate, how's it going? Dandy. Oh, my God. How's it going, everybody? How are y'all? <laughs> Good to see you. Um, we're gonna do some Qigong today. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I mean, like, you know me. I'm, like, more or less ready. Like, realistically. Like, got things within arm's reach to be ready, right? Um, I am just gonna turn my Bluetooth was connected to my other phone, so... Just get that back connected, make sure that everything's on. Did we light a candle? I'd say so. It seems seems fitting. Set the mood. Do y'all do that for yourselves? Do you guys like light candles and like my house is so my house is like I'm on a perpetual date with myself all the time. I walk into a room like, God damn it looks good in here. Do you do this for me? And I'm like, yeah, of course I did. Bitch, we live alone. <laughs> um, also, I hope you guys like make jokes to yourself throughout the day because you're totally missing out if you're not. <laughs> Bud man, oh my god, my Twitch friend in on the Instagram realm. Crazy. Nothing wrong with that, right? Just like leave blankets strategically placed about and candles lit pleasant. Make yourself a dessert. Um, oh my gosh, speaking of dessert, those Buckeye cookies I made were delicious. Absolutely turned out so well. And if you're wondering, I'm totally admiring myself right now. I love it. <laughs> I love this shirt. I love this outfit. These pants, these pants are velvet. What is this brand? Fila? Fila? Someone tell me how to pronounce it. I don't know. Velvet, really nice leggings. They were like $3.99. If you guys have not yet been to the crap store that I keep raving about, don't go because I want all the deals. <laughs> I decided. I take back my invitation to go there. Um, I laugh at myself at work all the time. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Delightfully dummy. Hello. Fila. Thanks, honey. I appreciate you. <laughs> That's what I said, and then I don't remember who it was that looked at me funny, and I was like, am I wrong? You know, those moments when you start questioning yourself. Don't do that. Lieutenant Dan! Lieutenant Dan! How are you? Does everyone say your name that way? Because if they don't, they're sincerely missing the point. Um, oh my gosh, everyone on Twitch. Hi, y'all. How are you? Do you want a brass? Thank you for following. I noticed I think you're our most recent follower. Maddie Flicks Live is in here. Oh my god. Hydrate everyone. Hello Maddie. Hi beautiful. <laughs> Hello I'm here. You're here. I'm here I think is what you mean. I came in and then I left and now I'm back. That's the way to do it I think on Twitch is like you give them a little teaser. If you don't have a starting soon stream that is. Give them a little teaser, then you then you leave, then they're like, oh my god, did I miss the I missed the stream? She just streamed, I missed it. Then they're looking out for you, then you jump back on with the real, you hit him with the real go live. Speaking of which, I gotta get ready for work. I figured you were working actually. <laughs> I figured 100 percent you were working. I was like, oh, I was like, Instagram's probably easier to just like hop on while you're while you're working. But I don't know, either way. For some reason, Twitch is so much more involved, honestly. Instagram, you can just be lurking, and they don't even call it lurking. They just call it watching the video. <laughs> On Twitch, it's like, if you're not chatting, you're lurking. 
And if you're not answering us while you're lurking, then you're AFK. <laughs> That's like so great. <gasps> First time chatter. Hello, welcome in. Cavum? Cavum Scriptorium? Great to meet you. Glad you're here. What do you go by? I'm totally fine with Scriptorium. I mean, it's a long one, but a goodie. Oh, and you're, now I'm in here. <laughs> Robin, jumping from one platform to the next. I do that too. Um, good morning. Good morning, chat. Yes, good morning to all the chat. Hello, chat. Welcome back. Sorry, for real though, I did not, I was not intending to, to go live and then that was not a real tactic. That was just me thinking I was ready and then my, then my phone was like falling over and I was just like getting frustrated. So the GD word, I was like, this is, we gotta end this live. <laughs> it's getting heated over here. Um, man, I'm so, it's so good to see people on Instagram too. I was like, you know, why not? And really Instagram is awesome because I can have my phone upright and it actually gets my whole body. Y'all can actually see what my Qigong poses are. You guys get this much. <laughs> and I can like tilt me down, but then you, you miss the, the lights and the prayer flags. That's why we do the seated practice half the time, because it's like at least I can capture the necessary parts of me in the seated practice. Uh, Maddie flicks on IG too. <laughs> I love this. Y'all are great. And I try to do that. Everyone's like, whoa. From everyone from Twitch is like, oh my god, you followed my Instagram? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> like, I gotta see what your what what is your behind the scenes life like look like right like not so much what I show I used to show that on my Instagram my Instagram used to just be like random stuff that I'm doing during the day and um, you know probably way too much information about my personal life um, <laughs> like my backstory and stuff and then it was like you know I think I'm just gonna dial it back with Instagram. I don't think all my Instagram followers need to know my whole life story. And if they want to know, they'll know. <gasps> the Lennox, everyone. Welcome in. Glad to see you. Good morning. Good morning. I go by was, were. Thank you. Thanks for telling me your pronouns. Can, was. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Um, Anka's in here. Oh, snap. Oh, it's what are you doing in here? No, I'm going to be blushing the whole time. You're not allowed to be in here. <laughs> oh my God. The queen herself. Okay. My heart's actually beating really fast. I need to chill out. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Woo. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh my God. Your stream. I am usually lurking in your streams. But yesterday was just so fun. I was like, I'm, I'm going to be chatting. <laughs> I'm going to be chatting the whole time. The whole six hour stream. Oh my god, it was so, it was so good though. We had a good time. Really gets me through the work days. <laughs> oh my god, but honestly, like, seeing you play music. You know what I did last night? I spent all last night looking up all the instruments I've ever wanted to play. Because I was like, why am I... Because this is my problem. All my friends are professional musicians. So, like, I've always compared myself, even when I was, like, like, I remember the first instrument I tried to learn was the uh, violin. And I wanted to be perfect right away. And obviously I couldn't be. That's insane. But, like, it's always held me back from starting a, a musical instrument. And I love music more than I could ever verbally express. Like, music brings me to tears regularly and I'm like to be able to create music would be unbelievable so hearing you play guitar and sing last night oh my gosh it just literally re-inspired me to get back into music I started looking up um I really want to play I want weird instruments who would have thought the weirdo wants to play a weird instrument but I want to play uh, a harp I think would be really, really funny I know so weird harp or the hammer dulcimer which is like this little one you hit so you're laying down flat it's kind of like a um like a flat harp i guess <laughs> laying down like all these strings and you hit them with little hammers 
It's like so weird sounding. Also, I love the sitar, which is like the giant gourd shaped Indian guitar kind of instrument. Um, so I started looking up all these instruments, which I found one within a hundred, within a, an hour drive from me um, of each of those. So I could go get any of those if I had the money. I was like, wow, that's weird. <laughs> okay, okay, universe, I hear you. Um, those are weird instruments. They just have like that, that twangy, and it, it reminds me of, and I used to listen to a lot of the Beatles growing up, um, and the sitar just reminds me of like, Norwegian wood and just that like twanginess. Plus, I saw uh, Ravi Shankar's. Who was was it his son, or his nephew or something play? So yeah, love it. Opens my pockets. <laughs> Harp is goaded. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. You totally feel me, right? <laughs> Seriously. Wait. What just happened? We just visited some streams. I play tuba, which means I can only play in a polka band. Strictly polka. Um, what am I missing? I'm missing a bunch of chat. Is this happening? Are we making a band? Oh my God, can we make a band? I'm so in. I'm so in. <laughs> Is Mex in? Who's in? <laughs> I'm fine if he's not. <laughs> Um, honestly, no, but probably would be safest to be in a band with that, with Max, because then we're, like, keeping our eye on him. All my friends in bands are so, they're so awkward. Like, they all, you think they're gonna be, like, these, like, total ladies men, and they're just awkward as all hell. I'm like, dude, just talk to her. <laughs> um, I think it's a musician thing, personally. I think it's, like, an artist, like, man, my hip's are killing me today y'all and yesterday from from working but also from like pretty much just not working sitting cross-legged while I was distracted dang we'll do some she going for that we're getting the band back together back together for the first time ever Dante's in here how's it going Dante I'm so in, honestly. That'd be amazing. I have currently, here, let me get my current instruments. Currently have a uke. Uh, currently, this is my favorite one. This one I bought myself for maybe it was my birthday. It was after New Year's one year, but it might have even been like June. I don't really, I don't really do like gifts for occasions. I just buy myself something because I feel like it. After spending six months to research it. That's my steel tongue, steel tongue drum. I love that thing. I could play that thing for hours. Um, Sanzi, are you? Wait, what happened? Are people getting subbed right now? Look at that cute little Colleen. That's literally me in my blanket slowly. Get it. So are your hips lying? <laughs> How did I miss all these? Oh my god, y'all. I'm guessing. Oh, Sanzi subbed. Oh my gosh. Thank y'all. Oh, what are whose emo pickles are so cute? Oh, look at those little waves. Pop mama. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Wow. What a crowd we have today. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Instagram. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to you. Peace, turtle. How's it going? Abe Cozy. 
see all my all my Twitch friends started an Instagram and then hopefully are hopping over to Twitch. Um, yeah. Must have been an XM too. <laughs> um, so I've got my ukulele and I have a guitar too, which I never play. Super, it's not super out of tune. It is a beautiful guitar though, legit. Like, I really should be playing it more. But I just am not currently. <laughs> I love music. I am just super intimidated to start playing because I don't want to be bad. But I'm like, you know what? I gotta start somewhere. Protect. Anka don't know, no, what? <gasps> How do I not get notifications for this? It's because I don't have anything set up. Somebody help me. <laughs> Somebody help me Twitch. Oh my God. Runs. What? <gasps> oh my goodness. Is it a dance or what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> New donation from Anka. Look at, oh my God, it does tell me. Oh my gosh, wow, that's my first, look at that, first, first time coffee has ever talked. Ko-fi? Coffee? I don't know, man. Guaranteed, if there's a word, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going to talk myself into pronouncing it the wrong way, when I should be pronouncing it the right way. Wowie, that's my first oh no, thank you so much. Um, so I didn't even know Twitch existed before April before the middle of April last year. I didn't, did not know that it was real. So I like, this is all brand new to me. I've always just watched people play video games IRL. <laughs> I'm like, I can do this from the comfort of my home. I don't have to be dating these people. This is amazing. <laughs> um, uh, we're Chestershire. We're Chestershire. We're Worcestershire. If you're saying it, Worcestershire. That's how you're saying it. You're gonna just pretty much keep your mouth closed and then say a word. <laughs> that's pretty much, that's your best bet. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you. Um, everything is secondhand, everything. Except for the tapestry, both of these tapestries, or all three of these tapestries actually, because there's one I'm looking at right now. I'm, ta I'm talking to y'all, but I'm really talking to y'all. I've got too many cameras going on here. So that one, five dollars from from amazon i think this one i think this one was like eight dollars from amazon and it's freaking giant the mountains and the sunset super pleasant hang on we'll go not this way i don't want to get twisted up and then this is the this is my favorite one this is why i look at this one all day the moons dang those moons love them the moons and the flowers up there oh I love that tapestry. These are all my thank you notes. If you ever write me a thank you note, or if I ever buy something from your small business, I put it on my wall of gratitude. Um, and then, yeah, there's my bed. We're back to the beginning. Oh, now I'm dizzy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna tilt this back up. Okay, we're back. I need to. See, streaming from my phone. There's pros and cons to it. Probably way more cons than pros, but I'm focusing on the pros, y'all. Um, Blondie in the house. Wow. Hey, fun fact. Don't knock over. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> so, don't. What? See, I lifted this table way up because I was gonna try to put my camera over there, but then the background would have been like. Then you're getting my least of all the aesthetic corners in my room. You get the least aesthetic corner from that angle. <gasps> Oat milk is in here. Blow out a bidet candle with those lashes, girl. <laughs> Oof. Flap them away. Flap it away. Um. <laughs> oh, God, stop. Oh, my God. Is my clock on the wall of gratitude? Your clock's out in my living room, actually, above, um, 
because my that wall was really bare. It's next to. Oh, phone laggy. Oh, do I have too many? I might have too many things going at once. That's okay though. Am I back? Okay, it looks fine now. I'm watching. I've got my stream manager up here on my computer, so I'm like watching myself in my peripheral vision. Clothes here. I was like, what did I just, why did I just read the word naked? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, hold on a second. <gasps> the radar went off. Give Annika mod, please. Oh, I totally could. Yeah, you want to be mod? <gasps> oh my god, it, and y'all need to be VIPs and stuff. Holy snap. You be whatever you want, Anka. Gladly. You take whatever role you're you're looking for. It's weird not to see her with a sword, right? Or VIP. At least the crown is there. Thank God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Naked wall. Damn, mommy. <laughs> I know, right? I identify as a VIP. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yeah, what the heck? I made you a VIP. Okay, y'all. Can I do this from here? Ooh, that's what I need to ask. VIP. Oh, yeah. the name being hammered down. I like it. Oh, oh, no. I identify as creepy creature image with cute emotes. No VIP for me. Yeah, oat milk. I made you a VIP. I'm sure of it. I recall. Oh, <laughs> peach cheeks. Hello. This is probably the most boring Instagram live video ever. <laughs> this is most Instagram live videos are not like that. They're not like just chatting and hanging out and distracting the the creator of the video. Ooh, you made infused cookies. <gasps> now it's all I want to eat. Okay, so eat only that. I made a whole tray of cookies the other day and I that's all I ate until they were gone. And then I was like, well, I guess I gotta make something else now. <laughs> Another tray of cookies. Um, <laughs> what the hell is infused cookies? Is it like this is my thought. So infusion is usually like when my friends do like lavender infused something. They'll like either um, just add lavender to like the milk or the non-dairy product or you can like even like boil down the lavender leaves maybe and make like a lavender um, like you could do a tincture with like glycerin or you could even just boil it down and make like um like concentrate type right oh i'm a fail i'm gonna be so high wait it's weed <laughs> notice me senpai oh how's it going styles daddy what's up what's good homie it's like the thunder dome but the wonder dome i like it <gasps> little double bear a little bell bear and oat milk. Oh my god. Odie. Oh, that's how that's how we all know each other. This all, it's all coming together, right? This is the craziest thing about Twitch is like how many different communities there are. And like, who do I know you from again? And like, what community members sent me over here to you? And like, or who are we chatting? It's so confusing. No us. Yes, we're all adorable. OMG VIP. I got you. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been so good about not swearing. Beautiful Blondie, are you effing joking me? You were like one of the first people I put for auto host, which I heard they canceled. I can't, I'm so embarrassed right now that you were not VIP. <laughs> oh, milk. You're so correct. Oh, milk, I don't think you'd be upset if you weren't. Cut to jelly, some nap. Raiders! How's it going, Raiders? Welcome in! How are you, Kaka? I actually have your stream up, so I'll probably close that tab now. Um, that's awesome. I was literally chilling in your stream when I opened 
when I, when I went live the first time and, like, had yours up, and I was like, oh, snap, I'm listening to two streams right now of yours and check me out. If you guys have not heard Check Me Out, she's a sound healer on here. Super awesome. Kata Jelly was doing some awesome meditation. A little bit of art was what I saw. Um, some stretching. She usually does a little bit of Tai Chi. It's just a, it's a good all-around variety stream for sure. Good place just to chat if you need to vent, if you need to um, get some good advice or have talk to a loving mom. Anyone ever be typing in chat? Okay, you know what my chat will do is just say, it'll just say reconnecting to chat, right? And then the whole chat just like disappears and just like grayed out, just like re uh, reconnecting to chat, dot, dot, dot. And then it never comes back. So then I have to le usually leave the stream and come back, which let me tell you was really annoying because you have to watch like three ads then every time you come back. So you're like, I just spent like two minutes watching ads just because the chat wasn't working. So I personally kind of think that Twitch leaves these, um, like leaves these things bugs rather than fixing them because they're like, oh, it just makes people watch more ads, which means people are either going to subscribe to the channel or, um, in my personal opinion, since like Twitch takes 50%. Um, rather than subscribing to like each individual channel that you love, which I know is awesome and I do like doing that, um, but it gets super expensive at the same time. Um, you can just get Twitch Turbo, which like some people give me shit, gave me shit for when I first got Twitch and I was like, what is it? I don't even know what I'm doing. Basically what it is is you pay $8.99 rather than getting Amazon Prime, because I don't shop really at Amazon anymore. Um, you just pay $8.99 a month and you get free, ad-free viewing for all of Twitch. Um, and some other bonuses too, but that's like the main reason. I was like, oh, duh, I'm totally doing that. Um, I took off the first two hours of work and I am so effing grateful because otherwise I'd be clocking in right now. This is why I'm usually rushing in my mornings. Because normally I'm clocking in or I'm supposed to be working. And I don't. Um, so I'm like, I need to take off some time at work if they're gonna let me. Oh, T1, are you taking off? Great to see you. Better subscriber else. <laughs> you're so, you're so silly. Um, so yes, currently I'm not clocking in, but I do have to, my computer wants to be logged in, connected to the, uh, the VPN, so doing that. Work is, yeah, I know, right? Ooh. Don't have any yet still. Okay, we're gonna do our Qigong practice. So we can either do a um, seated practice, a standing practice. I should have really just titled this one, Come See Me on Twitch. What's good, Panthos? All right, so check me out on Twitch because I'm forgetting all about Instagram, not gonna lie. Okay, let's do it. What are you guys feeling? Uh, does anybody have any specific health problems? Um, and also is the music in the background distracting because I didn't notice it until this moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically at this point, um, my hips could use some stretching. Um, Crohn's disease. Okay, so this is actually awesome for digestion. Um, I wasn't sure if I had Crohn's for a while. I'm not feeling the best today. Okay, so then what we can do is our seated healing practice, which is my personal favorite. So you can even do this one from bed, um, which is where I'm going to do it because, I mean, I could go 
Yeah. I'm just gonna be lazy. Because I feel like it. I need to justify it. <laughs> that is a new thing that I'm doing. Not needing to justify my decisions or my choices. Because, like, other people don't feel the need to. Why should I? So I'm going to turn this this way. Hopefully that's good. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Learning. Yes, seriously, I hope that this helps. This has helped. So my digestion was like, like I have had so many random surgeries. I was just um, sick all the time. Maybe not all the time, but at like at least one to two weeks out of the month. Um, I was like getting sick, throwing up, couldn't keep anything down, um, like just was a mess. Um, like super like, it felt like fluke symptoms. Um, it was like I was like detoxing every month. It was like I don't know what's going on but like my body's sweating, I'm feeling super sick, like I don't know why. And um, so I had all these random surgeries but I'm trying to fix it and figure it out. and. Um, <laughs> it was just like, I, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure this out on my own because I've had countless surgeries and I'm not spending any more money to these hospitals when they're just making things worse. Um, <laughs> oh, bye little double bean. Make use of quarantine to clean your flat. All right, well, hopefully you do. This is a super short practice. Um, this is a lot of good stretching and moving. So this is bringing vitality to our bodies, um, clear thinking to our mind. It relaxes our joints. It helps the energy move through our bodies more easily. So this is really great if you do clean or if you are gonna clean um, or do some physical activity throughout the day. This is a really great way to um, kind of get your body ready for whatever you're about to do. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Chef? It's one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can do this because I want this a little bit closer. Put this here. All right, y'all. Doing our Qigong practice. Cool, double stream. Yeah, double stream. This one's got the craziest jokes on it. Um, I might actually close this video and start a new live stream so that then I can just have the practice on it. So, I'll see y'all soon. Thanks for your patience, y'all. Okay. So, still alive. All right, cool. cool. I'm gonna take this one there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's do it. practice is great because you can do it from bed like it's super easy this is a seated ceiling practice it's called qigong <clears throat> i'm gonna grab my water because i've been talking the whole morning hey joel glad to see you it's been ages um so i'm mostly on twitch um which i'm gonna put the link here but i also wanted to share it on instagram in case people don't have twitch um but yeah, this is a really great uh, seated healing practice for uh, joint pain and anxiety, insomnia, boosting your immune system. Um, it's really gonna be a lot of everything. Um, and I think I can title this as well. So bear with me just while I learn how to do all this really quick. Um, 
<laughs> Actually, maybe I have to do it ahead of time. I'll just title it down here. So it's title. It's spelled Q I, but it's pronounced Chi Tong, um, and it's for healing. So we're doing our seated healing practice. It's a martial art. Um, it's a very short practice. Uh, really does help with everything, and I do highly recommend that everyone at least give it a try. See if it works for you. Um, where's, where's the filter? I was like, I thought I turned a filter on, but I kind of like myself better without the filter, not gonna lie. Um, so let's see here. I'm like, where's the no filter filter? Like legit no filter, not the one that's called no filter. They're all filters, you guys. Help. <laughs> Ooh. Um. We're just gonna go with that. Instagram's crazy, y'all. If you haven't been on Instagram recently, everybody's a filter. Nobody is real. <laughs> you can't even find the filter that's not a filter. Um. All right. So, get comfortable. Whether you're sitting on the ground, whether you're sitting on a yoga mat, whether you are sitting in bed, whether you're on a couch, um, you can do this from a computer chair. You really just need enough room for your arms and to be able to sit cross-legged. So if you can do that, wherever you can do that from, you can be comfortable. Roger that. Do you have abs? Get out of here, Roger. Um, all right, y'all. Let's do this. Does any... I, uh, to answer your question, hell no, I don't have abs. I eat grilled cheese every dinner. Fucking abs. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> let me go. Oh, come on, lighting. Dang it. It's gonna be a pain now. It was so good a second ago. Hmm. We know what to do with you. We're just timing you out, Roger that. Everyone has abs. Yeah, abs are the actual muscle, right? So what we do with people here, we do not block them. We, we time them out so that they can't talk to us. We can only talk to them. The ultimate win. So listen here, Roger that. Sit your ass down somewhere comfortable, and we're about to do some Qigong. It's going to be good for you. Okay? Let's do it. Um, I am going to try to Some days I'm nicer than others. Who is acting wild? Um, this guy just came in here and said something about, I don't even remember, something about boobs and abs or something. <laughs> mama Carly, I had to put on my mama voice. I was like, sit down, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna do something that's good for you. Shut your damn mouth, Roger. Right, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know how. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I'm not totally hating this. I think I might have to close my curtains though, because it's a little, a little bright over here with the snow. better. Dang it. You guys miss all my good, my good backdrop though. That's the problem. All right. <laughs> Sneak attack. Hello, Forsaken Mist. How are you feeling? I sent you some healing. I Hopefully it worked. Um, and like, I know that, I don't know, people are probably like, what is that? Like prayers, thoughts and prayers. Um, so when I say sending healing, um, I actually learned this amazing free ancient healing practice online. Um, 
So this woman, um, this guru, Sai Ma, uh, S-A-I-M-A-A, Sai Ma, um, she has, um, she learned this ancient healing practice and it used to be like reserved for only certain scholars and healers and she was like, she was basically like, F that, <laughs> like healing is for everyone. My guides say we need to share this with the world and not only that, but it needs to be shared for free. And everybody, especially in this time, needs to be doing this. So she's uh, she does this online. Um, basically, she's trained people to train people so that, like, it was like these old ladies who taught me this practice. And we just did this, like, Zoom call with, like, six people. It was so sweet. Everyone was so nice. Um, it was, like, these two couples, me, this old lady, and then, like, maybe these two old older lady they were so, everyone was wonderful though so um uh basically you just don't have to do you're not really doing the healing you're kind of just guided in the way to guide the healing uh, it's really interesting if you ever want to learn it i can all send you guys the link or you can just google saima s-a-i-m-a-a diksha d-i-k-s-h-a um and that's the healing practice so you could learn that um Basically, the day that I looked it up was the day that they were having the class. So, like, I looked it up, wanted to do it, did it that night, learned it that night. I was like, well, this is crazy. I think they have a course, like, twice a month or something. So, yeah, look into it. Super awesome. Then you can just send people healing. Um, you're Like I said, you're not really doing the healing. And the great part about it is that as you're, you're kind of just breathing, focusing on um, white healing light, um, flowing into your palms, you say activate Saima Diksha, and you're just taking some nice deep calming breaths, connecting, um, recognizing that I'm not doing the healing, I'm just a vessel for the healing um, to flow through me. So then um, as I settle down, as I calm down and breathe, getting more and more connected to that energy, then I simply cup my hands together. Um, and literally will hold, I'll do this for people when I say that I'm doing this. I literally stop my, everything that I'm doing and do this. And then I send the healing to that person. I focus on the extreme name. I focus on my breathing. If you guys can't hear right now, my stomach is going crazy. Like, this literally does... Every time I'm like, this is just in my head, then, like, my body starts reacting to it. And I'm like... Oh yeah, that's right. It's so much more than I could even comprehend. So, um, we like to say woo woo. I was very only science, everything. I went to a tech school. I was pre-med cognitive science. Like it was basically like if it, if it didn't have a peer reviewed article, don't even, don't even talk to me about it. Like I was so pretentious about science. Um, and when science failed me for five years, um, and then even again, this, like, it's just like, it's never had an answer for my, for my health issues. And when I start talking to people, it, it doesn't have a lot of answers for a lot of people's health issues. And I found this practice helps those health issues that may not have an answer or may not have a direct solution. So, um, hopefully it helps you too. That's kind of why I started it. It was like, wait, if I do this, I don't have to have emergency surgeries anymore. Like as long as I stay with my practice, I don't lose two weeks out of every month being sick. Like, heck yeah, I'm about it. <laughs> like I get my life back. I have 15 minute practice and I get my life back and my back doesn't hurt anymore. And I feel better and look better and all this other bonus stuff. It's like, what? Poppy, stop. Do you see? You're so sweet. Stop that, though. We already talked about this. We talked about this last night. I was like, people love you just for who you are. Like, it's not about the donations. It's not about the, like, yeah, you're just a very kind person. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Let's go deep. <laughs> Typos are hard, especially when it's only one letter. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Good. Be good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, no, that's super kind though, super appreciated. Um, but they again, again with when um, when people share their story, you know, I love that. I love seeing that in people. Um, 
Oh, Kata Jelly, have a great day. Thank you so much for your for doing your part and for doing the Qigong and for helping. I love that. I love seeing you do it. I love that the practice helped you enough that you were like, I'm going to keep doing this every day and also share it with others. So that's the point. I mean, that's the whole point. <laughs> She's getting everything organized back here. All right. So let's do the practice. We're going to do our seated healing practice. So we do have two. Um, we'll do the, um, we'll do the morning. Or I think it is the morning, morning seated practice first, and then we'll finish with the afternoon evening seated practice. So, um, both are great. Both are pretty short. Um, so it's not going to feel, it's probably going to be less time than we've already been in here <laughs> for both practices actually um which is my favorite part about it is i i don't want to feel like i have to go work out for an hour a day or um like do something every um you know do a certain amount of time every day um in order to stay with it it's like i want to practice that i can do like a couple moves here and there um like yesterday, my um, hips were killing me. So I just sat down on my yoga mat and um, put my feet together. Here, I'll tilt this down so y'all can see me. Um, <clears throat> um, feet together, adults. Um, bottoms of the feet together. Fingers laced around. Um, and this is my favorite one. If you guys know, I always smile when this move comes on. And it's silly. It's called the turtleneck. Um, but you're literally just bringing your chin down towards your chest and then stretching your neck up, um, breathing out as you drop your chin down and breathing in as you stretch your neck up. Hi, I'm Carly. Oh my God. Ooh, girl, I'm not flexible like I used to be. And Benetron, Ben, I literally just thought about you. I was like, I wonder why Benetron's not in here. <laughs> That's so silly. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many good streamers in here right now. Holy sheesh. Holy sheesh. Um crap, y'all. I need um I need to get my bots set up because I was what I was doing in my friend's stream was literally copying and pasting links <laughs> for people. Just literally copied the Twitch link, pasted that in, and then typing different people's screen names after the after the slash, I was like, wow, this is literally the slowest way to do this ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, oh my god, you all need to follow each other. Like, I cannot host you all enough. I cannot raid you all enough. Like, you're all, you all need to meet if you haven't already. I think most of you have at this point. You're working in the office today? <gasps> no, Ben. Oh, no, I was, I almost uh, sent you that message too. I almost said, I hope you're not in the office today. And then I was like, Carly, he probably is. And that's just going to make him sad. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I'm really, I'm glad you're here anyway. Glad you can be here. Um, now mod me. <laughs> no, not me. Yes. Anka. Oh my God, please. Benetron. Thank you, D. Oh my God. You're such a homie. Thank you so much. D, I should mod you as well. A million questions just went through my head and it ended up with no words. That's usually how it goes. Budman, glad you're in here. Glad you're chilling. Oh my god, Renee is in here? Holy shit. Oh my god, can I raid you? Holy cow. Wow, wowie wow. I'm hoping I'm raiding too. I hope you're still in here. Holy crap. So good to see you. Dang. I got braces. <laughs> All my friends are in here. Unstoppable Hell is in here. Okay, another amazing streamer. So, so, so phenomenal. Um, Okie dokie. I hope you're all feeling, hope you're all ready for this. Um, regardless of how you're feeling currently, um, this will hopefully make you feel better. So, um, but as I was saying, this is one of my favorite moves. So, soles of the feet together, bottoms of the feet together. And you can have your feet out, like, this is all about just being comfortable. So if your feet want to be way out here and they're still together, like that's fine. It's all about just like the motion of the neck really. And like, if you want to have your hands like 
up on your shin bones. Like, this is not about, like, pushing yourself. It's not about yoga world, right? Or it's not like yoga where you're trying to look a certain way and hold your body a certain way and you're using your muscles. And um, yoga's great. I'm n- not knocking yoga at all, but yoga's a lot of work. And people are like, oh, yoga's so relaxing. It's like, hell no. What yoga are you doing? Maybe if you do your own thing, but, like, if you go to a yoga class or, like, follow along with, like, sun salutations or something, like, your ass is going to be beat. <laughs> like, you're going to be, you're going to be exhausted. Um, but the whole point of Qigong is to help teach us to relax. So, like, we actually w- need to learn to relax, like, right? I mean, I know I did, like, I know I still do. Um, people are like, oh, you're so chill, and I'm like, dude, this practice makes me chill. Like, if you knew me before, like, my family, there's no way, the word chill would be nowhere near their definition of me, not in a million years. So, like, (laughs) this practice has helped me a lot. Um, okay, D, I'm modding you. (laughs) yoga for beginners and nearly died exactly that's what i'm saying people are like oh yoga even yoga for beginners you're like beginner what okay beginner moves let me show you these are the first moves i learned of my grandma actual beginner yoga right by by grandma by nanny nanny um child's pose so spread your knees out put your just touch touch your little bit your big toes together just touch them um plenty of room knees out you're gonna put your hands down in front of you bend your elbows in you can basically do whatever you want with your shoulders if you need to put your arms behind you child's pose okay beginner pose one that's all you do or you can stretch your arms way out that's how it's this is how it's mostly done stretching those arms out Knees really wide, sinking down, sinking your butt down, stretch. 90% of the time, if I'm doing a yoga class, I'm in child's pose. Regardless of what the hell they're teaching up on stage, I'm like, yeah, that looks fun. (laughs) Like, I call myself the lazy yogi for a reason. Like, if you all have done yoga with me, you will know. Like, I do whatever I want during a yoga class because I'm like, y'all aren't going to tell me what to do. I could follow along, but I don't think I will. (laughs) Um, So child's pose, that's a good one. Go to that anytime you need to. Stretch out later as long as you need to. Um, Beginner pose two, Shavasana. AKA, lay your ass down, close your eyes. Corpse pose. (laughs) Boom, boom, yoga. That's all, that's all they should be teaching you in beginner's classes, all right? Like, get out of town with all the rest of that crap. Like, done. Yeah, child's balls, cat and cow. I forgot about cat and cow. That's a good one, too. I was a spiritual mentor for um, fourth graders and up. So, like, yeah. If, if you're not gonna, if I wouldn't teach to a fourth grader, I wouldn't teach it to grown men and women. <laughs> like, that's the truth. Like, it's the same attention spans, okay? Um, oh man, I'm sorry, I can only, I've got a, I've got a new puffy microphone, so I can only read, like, half of chat. I think I'm just gonna take this cover off. Hang on, let me do this. Like a good, like a good streamer. Okay, this is why I do this, is for my anger. Um, it, literally, Qigong, we have a move that's called Stork Spreads Its Feathers. So this one has been taught. So I lived with my parents when I first started doing this practice, and I had a newborn son, and I had just been kicked out by his dad, and his dad was screwing the babysitter. Like, I could not be more pissed off. <laughs> like, let's just, 
we'll just start with that little premise of my backstory of why I started this practice. Like, yeah, I could not, like, my face is going to get red talking about it, yeah. I was effing livid, okay, I'm living with my parents, and I'm living with my sister, who is effing psychotic, okay, I love her to death. Sorry, Emma, if you watch this later, you're a nutcase. Um, who, <laughs> who would not allow me to cook. We weren't allowed to be in the kitchen while she was in the kitchen. So there was two hours, three times a day, that she would be cooking and that my son and I were not allowed to eat, be in the kitchen, get a snack. We just could not. So where he live, I just want to ask him something. <laughs> yeah, for real though. He lives about a mile from me. You, gotta, you can ask him whatever you want. Um... <laughs> Sheesh, that man though. Um, but yeah, so I was like at a very, a very stressful point in my life. So we weren't, because we weren't eating well. We we're just like stressed beyond max. Um, yeah. And so I was like, I need to do something to keep my mind off the fact that I'm like constantly hungry and angry all the time and like can't live in my own house, can't like properly function. So, um, Basically, <laughs> basically found this practice one night. I was just like, oh, I was literally like searching on this website that I found called Udemy, which is like this online courses website. So you can learn pretty much anything on there. Um, everything from photography to like video production um, to like becoming certified to teach things. There's like art therapy classes. There's just everything all over the board. So I'm looking there and I just searched like health or healing or something. I was like, just somebody make me better, right? Like pull me out of this place that I'm in. Like I just did not, I did not know what to do anymore with myself. I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. Like basically, <clears throat> Well, basically mentality was just like, um, like, I don't want to, I don't know how to be a mom. I don't know how to be a human being. Like, I just don't, um, want to do this anymore. Someone else can figure it out for me. Like, so I searched healing, health, something like that, and found this course that came up called Sounds True Presents. And I was like, okay whatever that means. Sounds True presents Qi Gong, which is spelled Q-I. So I was like, Qi, Qi Gong, what is this? For health and healing. And I was like, okay. So I watched the preview to the course and I'm like, okay, Anka, what's going on here? It's always a good deal. Like I was treated badly. I love you, Carly. You're so strong. You have no idea how strong you really are. I adore you. I adore you too. And that's like, a huge reason why I try to be there so much for people because it's like it sucks it sucks to feel like that and hopefully the mic is still okay I took the cover off it so now I can read chat which is great um but it's true and honestly I think a lot of it is like I almost I don't know how to say this in a way that doesn't sound crappy to myself but like it was almost like I had to be treated badly to wake myself up to stop me from treating people badly like not that I was inherently a bad person um but like I do have a tendency to like take things out on the people I love and take out my anger on the people I love um and um one of my therapists described it as like an emotional emotional bank right like where I'm constantly making withdrawals and never putting any deposits in and that one really hit me hard um because I was like yep that's exactly what I'm doing like expecting people to uh be there for me when I was lashing out um but you know not not able to actually put anything positive back into a relationship when I wasn't lashing out so Unfortunately, it does become a lot of um, pain and hurt and abuse in a way. So, writes a song for Carly. Oh my god, I'd lose it. Um, yeah, I had never heard that, and I really liked it. And I was like, oh, that's such a good point. Like, 
um, you know, we do have to be conscientious, at least, of, like, how the balance is, and, um, and so that was kind of my wake-up call of, like, I needed to start taking care of myself, I needed to stop putting my mental well-being in somebody else's hands, you know, my happiness in someone else's hands, like, that, it had to stop, and it was not easy to stop that, because we're taught for so long that, like, once you get a partner, you'll be happy, like, then you can start your life, right, like, your life doesn't start, first day of your life is when you meet your person forever, right, like, but what you see, or what I've started to see, um, throughout my time on this earth is, like, um, my friends that were never concerned with finding a person, and were always just, like, following their dreams, um, starting new art ventures, or, um, business ventures or whatever they're doing, those are the ones that find their people. And then the person they find is also like an artist or doing their own thing, you know, following their own dreams. So it's like, then they can come together and be this like amazing force to be reckoned with, right? This power couple. So I definitely seen a lot. Yeah. I can't ever put your happiness in others. And that, um, we're so taught that we're so taught that exactly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I was just thinking, I'm like, mm, my shirt's kind of see-through. <laughs> it's like, shit. <laughs> um, that's part of life, man. <laughs> that's why I wore the light-colored bra, but I was like, but still. <laughs> um, why? Yeah, I'm discovering myself. Ooh, if someone amazing comes along the way, then cool. If not, shrugs. I'm not forcing anything. Yes, I totally feel that. Totally agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's do this practice. Y'all are gonna make me blush. Thank god for the ring light so that you can't see how red I'm getting. <laughs> Mystical goddess. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I know I put that in. I put that in my profile, but I was mostly joking when I said that. Um... Oh my goodness, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see if we've got the... Did I write practice up? There are so many practices on here, and I started last night of studying um, all the information here, too. I was like, wow, there is hours and hours worth of articles in here that I need to read, and I do really plan to devote more time to this so that I have more knowledge to share, so that we're um, soon I just want to teach the practice without the video. I'd like to just create my own practice, really. Um, I must just go past this light now. Okay, there it is. Thank you. Okay, I have seven practices. Evening seated practice and self-healing seated practice. I was like, I know I saw it somewhere. Um, <laughs> Roger Strider, Roger. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. I had already forgotten about that. Because, like, it's such a little blip in my life. Like, um, and I think that's, like, the whole point of trolling, right? Is to, like, really get a rise out of someone. And so I think especially, like, they look at me and they're like, oh, she's just a small streamer. Like, we can, we can piss her off. And, like, at first, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started streaming, like, there were many times that I went right on my phone and tried to ban them and block them and report them and all sorts of stuff and, like, ended up closing out of my stream and doing a whole bunch of dumb stuff that I didn't mean to. Um, and, like, as I do this practice more often and hold myself to, to doing it by doing it on stream, um, like, I get more able to, like, think more clearly and just be like, oh, like, okay, I'll go take care of that on my computer. And rather than, like I said, rather than, because when you ban someone from your channel, they can't list you anymore. They're, they're out of the loop. They don't get the education. Whereas if we're just timing someone out, like, they can stay in chat. They can listen. 
um, and really more power to them. Like, I hope they do listen and hear my story, recognize that I'm a human being, um, see some of that humanity, right? The only way that we're ever really going to reach anybody is if we're actually giving them the opportunity to hear our side of, uh, you know, get to know us a little more. Like, um, I did a lot of psychology. That was my major was cognitive science. And so my whole, what I really wanted to learn was how do we bring people together? Um, and unfortunately there's most of the studies show that like, and like what really brings people together is like a big, um, disastrous event happening or some kind of something that is, um, earth shattering. Um, which, you know, COVID really is. Um, and I didn't think about it that way until this moment. But um, if you ban someone, they still have access to your channel. They just can't type in chat. Oh, interesting. Like, I have mental health problems. I would take my problems out on others. Oh, that's interesting. Rather than taking the anger out, yeah. Try to give more love than react with anger. But it gets too much as well. Abuse of others, yeah. Is exactly. You totally know it. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> you guys are so wonderful. Yeah, there is that, um, you know, like, how do we, because I still want to, that, you know, I still want the person to listen. I still want to be like, hey, like, we're here to help. This is, this is the practice that we're doing. This is how it's helped me. I hope it helps you. Um, is Dante back in here? <laughs> um, so the, I totally didn't even finish my thought earlier, but the move for anger is called Stork Spreads the Feathers. Um, so it's literally, um, let me think of it. We're breathing out as we circle our hands around, and then we're breathing in as we stretch our hands in opposite directions. So. And I think we're always looking up at the hand that's stretching up. But this, our liver meridian, the sides of our body, this is what stores our anger. Um, so something that most people don't know is that our body, every time our body releases adrenaline, uh, cortisol, which is the stress hormone, or like other um, anxious hormones or stressful chemicals go off in our body, is, um, you know, the, the, the thought or the evolutionary thought was that um, as we, you know, we have this adrenaline go off in our body so that we can outrun danger or fight off danger or something, we'd be somehow moving our muscles enough to actually physically release these chemicals and hormones from our body. They'd get sweat out of us. They'd get moved out of us. Um, they would be physically shifted. Um, but rather than that, we, we don't really move as much as we used to. And we're starting to move even less than like even some of us did as children. I know most of my time as a kid was spent riding bikes, going down the alley, um, trying to cross the highway, like just doing crazy stuff as kids, right? Um, but lately, since the technology boom and most of us are inside, um, we don't really move as much as we used to. So all of these chemicals get stuck in our bodies and stored there, and it's why so many of us feel stagnant and stuck, um, sluggish, feel like we can't sleep well. We have literally adrenaline and cortisol, all these stress hormones just sitting in our muscles. Um, slow, like, see, I even feel it right now, my tension, my shoulders, like, um, even I think about every time we get, like, in a little fender bender, a little car accident, like, how bad our muscles tense up, um, every time we get mad at our, you know, remember a past, uh, event or something that stressed us out, like, those hormones, those chemicals come back, so, um, there's a really great book called The Body Keeps the Score, literally about how our body holds all this muscle memory 
um, and how muscle memory is very real, as we know. So um, muscle memory in regards to stressful, traumatic situations is also real. So that's another reason why this practice is so great, is it can help us move our bodies in different ways to help push this energy out of us. Across the highway, yeah, we live, we just, we just lived, uh, we lived right by the highway. Um, all the good stuff was on the other side. Got to go to the gas station. <laughs> um, once your body is chill, you can be chill. Then you can think of the next move rather than reacting with anger. Yeah, especially because anger, that can be such a habitual reaction, right? Um, and do it with love. Then no one can hurt you. Exactly. Yes, always continue to strive to be better than we were the day before. Mm -hmm. Love it. Ooh, it's very good. Um, but I also want to say, because like we can't always be better, we always just want to be our best for that moment. And our best is going to change from moment to moment. You know, one day we're going to be sick. Our best isn't going to be as good as when we were healthy. But we can be our best us in that moment. Um, so also giving us that compassion, that grace to recognize, like, maybe not, maybe better is the wrong word, because then I'm always striving for something, but better, maybe just to be my best in each moment and, and be the best that I can is all I really need to be. Um, I heard that shift from um, a really great book called The Four Agreements, which I want to read on screen again, which is just like shifting that mentality from... Um, you know, what we've been taught that, um, towards like a more neutral ground, more compassionate, loving ground. Um, so yeah, that's my only mentality. That's my only, only, um, kind of the thing that shifted my mentality too. It's like, I always wanted to be better. I was always pushing myself to be better. And then when someone said that, I thought, I like that. That's a lot nicer than what I said. I do be my best in this moment. So, seated practice, get comfortable, um, hopefully you're wearing some comfy clothes, um, if, not, if not, get comfortable. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be sitting cross-legged, like I said, you can do this in bed, you can do this um, from um, a yoga mat on the ground, a chair, whatever works best for you. I'm just stretching all my legs because I've been cross-legged for a while. Uh, okay. And let me know if sound is okay. Uh, if anything is... And it's... Hi, Wolf, right? Glad to see you. You're here just in time. It's also like what Carly was doing. Keeping good thoughts. Same. You can uh, check this. Always now. Always now. All we have is now. Hello, your 888. Oh, did you get deleted? Thank you. Did you did you do that? I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, loves. Let's go. Seated practice for healing. Begin by bringing both hands in prayer position to the center of your chest. Take a couple of nice long deep breaths, and use the knuckles of your thumbs just to press into the center of the chest gently. This is a pressure point for emotional balance and relaxation. Then take the hands out in front of you, and we'll do a breathing exercise called the bear swimming. Inhale as the arms come apart, and exhale, extend the hands in front of you. Feel a little spiraling movement going through the arms, extending through the fingertips. As you exhale, sink your chest back. As you inhale, expand and open the chest. Feeling the swimming motion extend and stretch through all your tendons from your shoulder blades down through the arms. Do this one more time. Nice deep breath. Open the chest. Expanding forward. And then reverse the direction, pulling in and spiral around the other way. Inhale, coming into the chest. Exhale, the back of the hands towards each other. Deepen into your breath and relax into this flow. This flow stimulates and energizes the lung meridian. They say the lungs are the commanders of chi. That's why we start with deep breathing exercises. 
Now go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together in front of you and interlock your fingers around the toes. Let's do a movement called turtle neck and stretch the whole back of the body as well as the hips. Inhale and look up. Exhale, tuck the chin down, rolling up on the inhale. Feel the stretching the neck and the shoulders. A nice opening between the shoulder blades, down through the low back, the hips and the waist. Connect the stretch and the movement with your breathing. Exhale as you come down. Nice deep breath as you come up. Let it flow. The stretch opens the spine. That connection between the spine and the hips. Now hold the stretch. Bring your forehead down towards your toes. And if you can, comfortably bring your elbows in front of the shins. Take a deep breath and slowly roll up. Let's do some pressure points on the inside of the feet. Use your thumbs to massage the inside of the feet, the bottoms of the feet, all along the arches. All the points along the bottoms of the feet are good for mental relaxation and calming your mind. And now walk the thumbs up the back of the calves. Work them all the way up towards the knees and then come back down. These are all pressure points along the kidney meridian. The kidneys are good for energy, this low back right health, and there. hormone balance. So again, massage the bottoms of the feet. Like it's right. Work the whole right back bottom, the arches. This is great just to stimulate energy from the feet all the way up into the organs. Now with your fingertips, massage the top of the feet between the first and the second toe. There's a pressure point here. This is liver three. That's great for headaches keeping mental relaxation. Now walk the thumbs up the inside of the calf. This is the belly of the muscle, sort of the middle of the calf. So a little kind of a halfway point Work here. the thumbs all the way up to the knees, and then come back down. The <laughs> liver meridian is good this. for the tendons, the muscles, and keeping the body flexible. Like I never now massage along the arch something. of the foot, near the bone. Mm. Work the meridian line here. And then we'll come up the inside of the leg, near the bone. Press the muscle away from the bone to stimulate the flow of energy. This is for the spleen meridian. It goes right pressure points bone. here for hormone balance and good digestion. Hormone balance and digestion. So there you go. Let's learn some important points on the inside of the leg. Place a whole hand on the inside of the ankle. And at the top of the finger, massage that point there. This is spleen six called the three in meeting point. And you can massage into that for good hormone balance. Try the other side. Massage in with the thumb, and the point should feel a little tender. Let's go to the point on the, on the top of the foot. This is liver three. It's between the first and the second toe, and all the way up between those two tendons. There's a little indentation there. So feel that point. You can press in with firm pressure. It should feel a little tender. Put and the bottom the of the feet, this is called bubbling springs. It's right underneath the ball of the big toe. Let's press into that point and feel how that point can help calm your mind. And it's excellent for insomnia. Next, begin to work with your right elbow on the upper thigh. Use pressure between this the knee the and the hips. hips. Go up and down all three of these meridian lines. It's the liver, the spleen, and the kidney. You can use your left hand to hold the shin and just gently pull in a little bit to get in a little bit deeper into those muscles and meridians. Work out any tender spots or any tightness in that muscle. Press in with firm pressure with that elbow. And you can do this as long as you need. And then let's switch sides using your left hand. He does go through it kind of quickly, but like feel free, you can always, if you, if you feel a spot here that hurts, and your feet can be out, like I said, as far as they need to, we're just about giving ourselves this full range of motion to go um, up and down from our hip to our knee. So um, not so much of trying to push it down, but just really putting the, um, that elbow in those pressure points, because there's the same meridian lines that are through our calf are also run through our legs. So three major lines again. So um, feel free to, like I said, take your time, 
really massaging the points that need it. Um, if your hip needs it, you can put extra pressure there. Um, circles, I like to do a little circle with my elbow in places, um, but you can go back, forth, up, down, push, pressure, whatever you want to do. Like this is your practice. Um, the whole point really is to just help your body um, find that flow, get that flow of um, energy moving through our body again. Hello, what am I missing right now? What did I miss? <laughs> what just happened? Global up here, hello. Mexico in here? Man, now I want a massage. Oh, yeah, that feet are not agreeing. Oh, you know what? The phone won't, oh my god, yes. Here, can you move? Oh, I love it. Oh, Kuru's in here. Oh, this is, um, Hello's, Hello's partner. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I was like, I know your name. How do I know your name? <laughs> Wow, welcome in, my friends. Yeah, so, Max, this is, like, our, this is how I do it. Self-massage, um, because we all need it, you know? We don't, we don't always take care of ourselves as well as we should, so. I'm so glad you're all in here. Um, so you're here right on time, of course. I dragged him in here. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, not the song talking, but I'm pretty sure I'm good at giving massages. <laughs> there you go, Max. Um, wait, we didn't know what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just made him a mod today. <laughs> he just he just got modded. Wow, I'm so glad you're in here. Okay, well, good. Glad glad to see you. And I'm serious about singing. And I'm also serious about being scared of North, so. <laughs> Just so you know, both of those things are real. Two things can be true. <laughs> I love it. I love this. I, I accept. <laughs> okay, you guys. Since you've all thoroughly distracted me. So we're here sitting again. I'm gonna paint this way. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> sitting with our feet together. Um, <laughs> what did you say, D? Um, so stressed out before. Now I feel zen out. Oh, I love that. Benetron, I have tea drinks to make for you and apparently you have massages to give so we gotta actually hang out one day one day um all right well let's let's get a little more zen so bottoms of our feet are together like i said don't feel the need to like push this too hard this is all about being comfortable um so feet together um we're holding our hand with our um our right leg, our right shin with our left hand, and then using our right elbow just to um, massage in from our knee to our hip. Um, and we are actually just about to switch over to the other side. So um, make sure to take as much time as you need on this. And this is always one that you can go back to. This is one I actually do. This is the one I did yesterday when my hips were killing me. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put my feet together and just do a little bit of massage with my elbow. And I swear, my, my body felt so much better within a few minutes. So do what you need to do. It's all about you. Um, <laughs> I feel like a potato doing this. Potato me is happy. Perfect. And we're only five minutes in. So like, we've just been talking a lot. Elbow to press in to all those points between the knee and the hip. Use your right hand on the shin to support the leg to get in just a little bit deeper. Work all these points, find some tender spots and stay there a little bit longer or just continue the flow along the meridian. After doing the pressure points, that circulation is open through the legs. Now we can go into a stretch. Take your elbows in front of your shins, relax forward, pull yourself gently 
forehead towards the toes. All right, and then just start to roll up, come up, and we'll bring the legs in front of us and begin to massage your kidneys. Take the hands behind your back and then caress down the outside of the legs, and we'll just massage the caress. outside of the legs from the hips to the knees. <laughs> and then massage around the knees. Sorry. Go down through the lower legs, down the outside of the legs. The previous stretch, we activated the yin meridian. This activates the yang meridian. Massage down the outside of the legs. Good circulation down through the outside of the legs, all the meridian flows from the knees all the way to the feet. And then just stretch over, bring your hands underneath the calves or wherever is comfortable for you. We'll do the same movement with the chin and the head. This is called turtleneck. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, chin to the chest, and roll forward. This should be a stronger stretch, and it opens all the lines of tension from the lower part of the legs through the hamstrings all the way up through the spine, neck, and shoulders. So I just chin have my chest hands behind roll my forward. knees. So you don't need to Inhale stretch Inhale and look up. Far. If you want to, you can stretch a little further. You can hold the feet with the hands. If you want. Never you push the stretch it. further than you can comfortably. Take some deep breaths now and just hold the stretch without movement. Great. And now open the leg. We'll go into a wide leg forward bend. Open the legs as wide as you can comfortably. Uh -huh. Come over to your right side and either hold the lower part of the leg or the foot. And the left hand's going to press down on the inside of the this leg. This is a great one, though, for Inhale real. to your chest. Exhale and press down. These stretch and flows create good circulation of internal energy. They open the body. And we're really and not they stretching remove through blockage the really that's preventing us from having maximum vitality. Here the hands. You can use your breath, movement, and energy to all synchronize. Exhaling as you push down. Inhaling to the chest. Let it flow. Let's go over to the other side. Left hand holding the lower leg or the foot. Press down with the right leg. Come on. Oh. Nice, gentle, easy flow. Let your body open through the movement and through your breath. Exhale and press down. Inhale to the chest. Qigong is all about flowing movement. So as you're stretching, the flow helps to relax the body and allow the muscles to open and stretch a little bit deeper. Do that one more time. Press down the inside of the leg and then come to the center. Now let's do a meridian flow. We're going to massage the outside of the legs, come around the feet and come up the inside of the legs circular flow of energy going down the outside, around and up the inside. The outside are the yang meridian. Feel the chi flowing down. Draw the energy up the inside of the leg. And again. Now come over to the right side and we'll do some pressure points. The first point is stomach 36. It's on the outside of the leg, below the kneecap, right at the top of the shin in the muscle. Use your thumb to massage into that point, and then go ahead and knock into the point. That's right by the chin. <laughs> my beautiful Now lady. come to the outside <laughs> right of the leg. The this is gallbladder 34. Massage you with the fingertips like a, a around the point, right here. just below mm -hmm. stomach 36. Below the knee. Knock into the outside of the leg and at that just point. To the side of your. And then come across, and we'll do the other side. Massaging stomach 36 with the thumb. Great point for your immune system and to increase the energy in your body. So this is immune knock on the point. Pointing at energy. Come to the outside, massage and gallbladder 34 with the fingers. The gallbladder 34 is dedicated. This point to is said to be the master point of the tendons. It brings good energy to all the tendons of the body. And then knock on the point. Put it in there. Take the fingers and just slide them through God, the hair and around the back of the neck, <laughs> up over the ears. Around the back of the neck, I like to do both stimulating the, the points as they go over the head and oh, into the neck great. area. All these pressure points here are good for mental tension, tension in the neck and shoulders. Do firm pressure, feel the heat and warmth from the hands, bringing good circulation into those muscles. And 
do the front of the neck, throat area. Take the palms and just slide down from the chin all the way through the throat. This is an area where chi can get stagnant or stuck. So feel this light massage opening any blocked energy, letting it flow all the way down into the chest center. Let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Now, go ahead and sit with your legs crossed. Find a comfortable position. Now, circle your thumbs into those muscles in the neck. Have your fingers interlocked. Use firm pressure with the thumbs and activate all those pressure points in the neck area. Good. Maybe go a little bit wider on your neck. Just get some of those muscles to the sides of the spine. Pressure points not only stimulate the meridian flow, but they bring good circulation into the muscles, clearing tension, tightness, knots, or contraction. Work right into the base of the skull, from the base of the skull all the way down to the top of the shoulders. This is a line of tension helps to not only release neck tension, but also bring clear chi up into your brain for focus and mental clarity. Now just grab the back of the neck with your palm. This is called cat's paw. Good. We'll just squeeze those muscles with the back of the hand. Pull up and away. Get the blood flow into the tendons around the neck joint. move and circulate. These are vital points for healing, longevity, and mental relaxation. Take your hands out now to your sides. Press your palms down and away from you. Lean the head over to the left side. And gently roll the head back and forth. After doing those pressure points, now the neck can be opened and stretched. And we'll get that circulation of chi a little bit deeper into the meridian. Those flows of energy go all the way out through the hands and the arms. Let the head come down and across to the other side. Gently roll the head back and forth across the shoulder. Feel the opening in the neck, in the front of the neck, and in the back of the neck. Breathe into it. And then roll the head down to the chest. And we'll take the fingertips together with the thumbs. And you're rolling Flex your the wrist down. towards the elbows. Out. <laughs> press the back of the hands down. Slowly roll the head back and forth across the left shoulder. Feel the movement like a massage from deep within your muscles. Focus on your breath. Use the exhale as a way to clear tension. Slowly roll across to the other side. Back and forth across the shoulder. Nice deep breath. Long exhale. Allow the muscles to release and flow. Back to the center. Relax your hands down into your lap. And now we'll open the wrists. Make a little circular motion with the wrists across each other. Nice flowing movement to open the wrist joints, get the chi to flow down from the wrist into the hands. Feels good for arthritis. It's great for circulation into the fingers and prevents things like arthritis, poor circulation, or stiffness in the joints. Yeah. So they don't look kind of crazy. Shake them out. And then interlock your fingers and do a wave like motion with the wrists. This will open the outside of the arms and the inside of the arms. So it always makes my shoulders pop this like This flow crazy. creates a balance of energy between the yin and the yang meridians in the lower part of the arms. So you'll have this wave not only opens the wrist, but it also connects to your shoulders, through the forearm. Come back to the center <laughs> and then just circle the wrists. Have them right in front of you and just circle. Feeling them working a little bit deeper into those joints. And then start to activate the movement into the shoulders by lifting one elbow up towards the ceiling and circling around. <laughs> Use this swimming motion here as a way to open the shoulder blades and the shoulders, keeping the joints 
the arms all connected and free flowing. Now we'll do some pressure points. Let's use the thumb to massage along the inside of the arm, all the way up to the elbow and down. This is the heart meridian. We squeeze through to the lower part of the wrist and down. This is the heart meridian. We squeeze through to the lower part of the wrist. Now come up the middle of the forearm. Like all the, the way up at the elbow. Kind of it. The, the back like, down. No, okay. of course. The energy flow like through yeah. the entire meridian from the elbow to the wrist. Come up now from the thumb to the upper arm and then the upper arm down to the wrist. And then squeeze Again, the whole entire the meridian arm. Meridian lines. So in the middle. The other side. Thumb, Walking along side. the pinky finger side of the arm to the inside of the arm to the elbow with the thumb. Squeezing with firm pressure and come back down all the way down to the wrist. Then come to the center line, squeezing with firm pressure up the middle of the arm all the way to the elbow and then back down, creating a nice smooth flow of energy through those pathways. Now just squeeze the entire lower arm and the wrist. Feel the openness there and then knock the wrist together. This will stimulate the inner and outer gate pressure points. These are good for emotional balance and clearing emotional energy that causes physical problems. Switch sides. The outer gate is for your immune system. We call it Wei Qi, which means strong immune system or strong protective energy around your body. Go ahead and switch sides again, knocking the wrists. Feel this stimulating those pressure points. And then again, switch sides, knock those points. These points are really strong and they influence the body in such beneficial ways. Take a deep breath. Just relax. And now we'll do a little hand reflexology. Massage from the center of the palm towards your pinky finger and all the way to the tip of the finger. Now go from the center of the palm to the ring finger stimulating all those pressure points in the center of the palm all the way to the finger. Again, from the middle of the palm now to the middle finger. Hands are great places to relieve stress and tension. To the first finger, come over to the thumb, massage the thumb, all the way to the tip of the thumb. Then we'll do the other side, do the pinky finger, all the way to the tip the center of the palm through to the ring finger, the center of the palm through to the middle finger. Great to see you as always. Through that center of the palm to the first finger. If y'all missed all our points. hilarious so code screen, the thumb. go back and watch it. It was so funny. Closing the gates of the hands. <laughs> and now rub Room your fingernails and back and forth together. Not know her. Um, the end of the meridian lines are at the fingertips. Sister. This stimulates the chi um, through the ends of the meridian. Go back and forth Such vigorously. An inspiring force in my life. So massage your palms together. Well, well, well. <laughs> Get that heat and energy going into the palms. I always hear you say and then we'll do that. a little facial rejuvenation. Just massaging up through the face, up and around. So this is great. So we go we over the cheeks sinuses. and around the forehead. Facial rejuvenation is good for bringing life force energy into the face bringing that rejuvenating energy into all the muscles. Now I'll come around the sinuses and just massage the sinus points near the nose, up Thanks, between the Steve. eyebrows. Appreciate you. All these points are good for sinus health and clear things like allergies or sinus congestion. Go up and down now through the creases around the nose to the bridge of the nose and by the eye. As you're doing this, take a couple of deep breaths and breathe some of that chi into the sinuses. And then come across the forehead, go back and forth across the forehead, and then use the fingertips to massage deeper into the forehead, stimulating all those points. Points here around the eyes and the forehead are good for a clear thinking. So one more time, just go back and forth across the forehead with the fingertips and the palms. circulation into the brain, into the mind. Now point for the eyes. We're going to take the knuckles of the first finger and go across the eyebrows. It's good for a clear vision. 
both in the eyes and internal vision. So you have perspective and clarity. Now go underneath the eyes, right under that orbital ridge around towards the temples. Now circle your knuckles right at the temples. Good for relieving stress and tension in the head. Good pressure points for headaches and headache prevention. Now with the fingertips, massage your jaw. And with firm pressure, make circular movements with the fingertips and work out tension in the jaw muscles. Relax into those muscles. Press into it. Let that circulation flow. And then knock with the fingertips. Knock into the jaw right around the ear. Feel the tension release right into that joint. And then we'll massage with the fingertips around the ear and through the jaw. The one finger is behind your ear. The other three are in front. And go up and down vigorously, stimulating all those points through the ears and around the ears. And then massage Good the ears morning, with Bruce. the thumb and the first finger. Good morning, Bruce. By stimulating the ears, we can clear tension and release stress through the nervous system. Massage, go from the earlobes to the top of the ears, all the way around even to the inside of the ear. And then just hold the hands now over the ears, palms facing towards you without touching. Feel the chi there. And come around to the eyes. Send some chi from the palms into the face. Breathe into it. Feel the warmth and the heat from the hands going into the face and all those pressure points that we just stimulated. A couple of deep breaths. And all those points in the face are good for mental relaxation and calming clearing stress, and enlivening your body with more vitality. And bring the hands down. Both hands over the lower abdomen. Just circle the hands in a big circle all the way around now through the whole lower abdominal area and around the rib cage. Bring some of that life force energy into your internal organs. And then circle the hands in the other direction, starting with the big circle around the rib cage and the abdomen. Breathe into it. Feel how the heat and warmth from the hands can open into the organs. Then we'll make a smaller circle just around the navel. This is for centering energy, bringing energy into the lower Dantian, that place of internal power, self-healing, and being centered. Couple deep breaths. Feel a sense of relaxation and flow going through the lower abdomen. And then we'll lie down. Just go ahead and come down onto your mat or onto the floor. Relax, we'll do a visualization for healing energy. So just get comfortable. Feel your spine lined up on the floor, your legs relaxed, your arms, shoulders, hands, all softening and relaxing. Take a moment just to soften through the back of the head, down through the neck. Feel the face relax, the muscles around the jaw, even the tongue relax. Surrender down into the earth. Take a couple of deep breaths. Feel supported by the earth, connected to the earth, and completely enhanced by this earth energy that's surrounding you. The earth has a way of embracing the energy, of transforming stress, sick energy, or any problems in your body, transforming that back into vitality. Long, slow, deep breathing relax into your breathing where you feel as if the air is breathing you. No effort and no strain. Visualize yourself lying on a beach somewhere beautiful and warm sunshine shining on your body. And as you're doing that deep breathing, 
just allow yourself to absorb this golden light. Absorb this golden light first through your face. Feel that sunlight, that golden light shining and radiating on your face. Draw it in, filling up every cell through the face with more light and more energy. Golden light is healing, transforms old energy into new energy. Visualization. Anything that you need transformed, just use that golden light, use your breath, use the chi flow to transform it back into positive energy, back into healing energy. Now breathe this golden light down through the neck and the shoulder area. Let it flow into your muscles. Golden light as it goes into the muscles is like warm oil. Working out tension, softening those muscles, creating suppleness and flexibility. So go down through the spine, down through the muscles next to the spine, around the hips and the waist. Feel all those muscles softening and relaxing. This nice flow down the back of the legs, all the way to the feet. See where that oil is pouring through. Just feel it working out, creating tension and tightness back youthful vitality. Breathe in some more of this golden light into the face and feel it washing through the front of the body. Sparkling golden energy like sunlight shining on water. Let it move down through your throat. Golden flow moving through the chest. Sparkling energy. Breathe it into your lungs. radiate from the lungs through the chest and into the heart. Let that golden light go into the heart. Feel the chi from the heart circulating that through all the arteries and veins in your body, bringing life force energy into your circulation. Feel the length of the circulation is like rivers of golden light moving through your entire body. If you want, you can just direct it anywhere you might need it golden light and golden energy circulation going to a place in your body where you might need extra healing. Feel it transform. Take a deep breath. This golden light awakens your own inner healing potential. Your body has tremendous healing power. After doing your Qigong exercises, visualizing golden light and energy moving through you, start to transform, come back to a state of being balanced and full of life force energy. Tune into your breathing again. Let your breath be long, slow, and deep. In the meditation, we say, breathe as if you're smelling the fragrance of a beautiful flower, taking in that life force energy, releasing the toxins and old energy out. More deep breath. Feel a sense of being both relaxed, refreshed, and re energized. Take this feeling with you into the rest of your day. Feels good to hear that. Oh, I just trying to wake up. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness, work out your ankles, do what you need to do to get up, pull your knees into your chest, do a good eye on this, Norish, are you new in here, hello, hello, it's a zombie, I know for real I feel like I just died, <laughs> hello, are y'all still there, oh, Oh, well, I'm so glad you're in here. <laughs> kind of tough. OMG, was I supposed to fall asleep? Dude, I almost did. I was like, are y'all still with me? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I was totally out of it. Oh my gosh. Top of the line. What did I say? <laughs> He's open bed cascade. <laughs> Sure is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> no.
door. She came in after I passed out. <laughs> oh, so silly. Oh my gosh. Hello, welcome. That's so silly. Yeah, that was exactly it. Carly looks so hungry when she's doing that. I am really hungry. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, super hungry. <laughs> Man, that was wild. I usually fall asleep. Um, <laughs> not gonna lie. Most of my streams, I fall asleep for at least a minute, and then I'm like, oh god, what's going on? <laughs> oh, did anyone notice that? <laughs> Most of the time, nobody notices, because hopefully we're all sleeping. Yeah, that was wild. Now I just, yeah, hopefully you don't have anything to do today. <laughs> Go take a nap. I forget that one's supposed to be the morning one, but that one puts my ass to bed. Oh my god. What's happening? Who are you people? <laughs> For real, be like that. Thank you, Dante. I appreciate you. Um. <laughs> For real though. I'm drinking coffee and it's not helping. Oh my god, it's almost 1 p.m. Oh crap, I have to work soon. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 1.24 p.m. Sheesh. Sheesh almighty. Bell of Clarity. Where is the Bell of Clarity? I better go find her. <laughs> ah! Who did that? Is it the bell ringing? Yeah. <laughs> it might just be like... Where is it? I got the time. The times are not the same. Huh. My, my house isn't that big. <laughs> and why so many voices are saying Seagull? Uh, it'll come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I totally knocked over my water when I stood up, though. <laughs> it's really funny. <gasps> Ten bells of clarity in one chime. Oh my gosh. Jigs. <laughs> I gotta find the bell now. Um, where is she? Hold on. <laughs> this is something I should throw aside right now.
got it. <laughs> A reading called Bell of Clarity. You just want a reading. Did you, do you want a card for real? I've got my cards. I haven't done a reading since you asked last time, actually. Oh, I'm gonna say bye to Instagram. Bye Instagram. Thanks for being here, helping me. Bye. Oh, look at it. Max is so cute. Give me that shirt, Ellie. Um, Cuddly's in here. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Cuddly. That's such a good point, Jigs. That is such a good point. I've been feeling disconnected from my tarot recently. And usually, I used to just only do it for other people and not do it for myself, which is so silly. Um... so glad you're all in here. You are sleepy. We are all sleepy as well because we just did a Qigong practice that was very sleepy. Supposed to wake us up, but it did not. Gosh, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some, grab my cards. Hydrate is a great idea, especially because I just had my water. It's fine, it's just not ideal. Gotta get going. Oh, nice, have some fun. That sounds great. Yeah, we should chat soon. I do work till like 10 p.m. most nights my time, so it's kinda late, unfortunately. It's been late nights, but that's okay too. Um, so let's see, who do we have to raid, y'all? All right, so we got everything. Let's see who's on, who's on, who feels, who we feel like rating. Y'all gave me some good suggestions before, so I do love suggestions. Um, oh, Kevy's, Kev's on. Okay, let's see. Um, Granny Savage is on. She's always fun. Real Mama Eagle, always good. Um, ASMR Angel is actually a super sweetheart. Beat Cleaver, I was just gonna say I've got Beat Cleaver on too. Really phenomenal musician. Gosh, let's do it. Shall we go chill with Beat Cleaver? He's pretty cool. Pretty random. I'm down. What are you? What are y'all feeling? Music. Let's do it. 
He's a cool dude. You should laugh. Dang, we're almost to 700 followers. Who are we? Sheesh. Spirit, hello. Glad to see you. We are just going to go right over. We just finished our practice. We are at two hours. Right on time. Um... Okay. Remind me again, Jiggs. It's V underscore Cleaver, right? No numbers. Um, yeah, we're gonna go chill with some music. Um, we just did our practice, so if you do want to go back to it, I'll make sure to do the highlighter or the highlight of it. Highlighter. <laughs> Brain. Um, but yeah, let's go have some fun, listen to some good music, chill, have some good vibes, wake ourselves up after that chill practice. Um, thank you guys for joining me, for being here. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it helps everyone feel better. Rest if your body's saying to rest. Drink tons of water. Take a nap. Um, Qigong is all about learning to go with the flow, so listen to what your body wants to do. Don't always push yourself so hard. We can't be on and in full bloom 365 days of the year so take care of you love you love you so much y'all are amazing big love follow each other um <laughs> thanks d thanks for the help today really appreciate you uh, appreciate your assistance for being there for keeping me on track hopefully we got all the bells in thank you thank you all for your encouragement and your love Big love. Wish I could stay all day. Um, and someday we'll do a gaming stream. We'll have some fun. We'll... 9,000 bells later. Yeah, you know. Jigs. <laughs> and we'll do some tarot soon. Carly Raid! Ooh, good. Copy and paste that message. What a gem. What a gem. Jigs the gem. I should copy and paste that message. 